Hi there guys. So um, today I've got quite a few spiders and bits and pieces from the British Tarantula Society show over in Warwick. I don't really get over to these events very often because I don't live in the mainland and it can be rather expensive to get there. Um, but I went to the British Tarantula Society show this year and it was fantastic. There was lots of people there, um, lots of uh, vendors and it was all around a very busy and very good day. Um, so. I went there and had a few ideas of what sort of spiders I was looking to get and thankfully I managed to get some um, and I picked up a few other bits and pieces when I was there as well so um, let's have a look and see what I have here. So first of all this was one that I was really really looking for and I'm really glad I found it. It's Nafonopelma bicoloratum which is the Mexican blood leg. It's still a sling so I'll see if I can show it on camera. You can just about see it there. Very, very small. Um, and I think, based on the color of his abdomen, probably going to molt soon. So um, I will probably leave him in that container until he molts and then I'll rehouse him. So that's going to be his temporary home for now. Um, Another pickup I was really glad to get was the Brachypelma auratum, which is the Mexican flame knee. And I will just give you a better look at him. I got this as a pair because. Oh, you're alright, you're alright, you're alright. He's very flicky. Um, but I got this as a pair because. They wouldn't sell the female by herself, which is perfectly understandable. Um, they're hard spiders to come by and people have a tendency to move away from the males. Um, but this this is actually a very nice male anyway. He's, he's quite nice coloured, as you can see. Um, and he will definitely get a rehouse. As you can see, he's recently molted. You can see bits and pieces of the old molt in there and um, I'm going to rehouse him. Now I don't think I will be able to breed this male and female pair because I th the female looks small compared to the male. Um, I would say they're probably from the same brood so the male will probably mature before the female. Um, and might die before then. She's a lot more calm. And as you can see, she's not she's not as big as he is, so um but still very, very lovely. Um I've been looking for a flame knee for quite a while now and I was really really happy to find one. So even though I had to buy them as a pair, that was fine with me. The meal the meal is perfectly nice too. There's nothing wrong with the meal, so um I was happy enough with that. So um, another pickup I got is the Pacillotheria metallica, the goody ornamental. Um, I had one of these, um, but unfortunately she died. She got stuck in her molt and um, it was just a complicated process and in the end she just died unfortunately. And she was about this size whenever I had her. Um, so I'm hoping that won't happen here, but uh, I saw the opportunity for another Metallica, so I thought, yeah, let's go for it. Um, and I also bought a Sling Metallica too. Um, you can just see the wee Sling there. I love Pokies, so um, I really wanted to make sure that I would at least have one Metallica at some point. In here is a Formictibus auratus, which is the Cuban gold. And I'll just take the lid off and see if we can get a bit of a better look. I'm not going to rehouse him just yet because similar to the Ophonopelma, um, you maybe just see him from this side, he's right in the corner there. Um, similar to the Ophonopelma, he is ready to molt. So I'm actually just going to leave him in there until he molts and then I'll rehouse him. So 
he will be grand. Um, then I got this from Venomous Visions. This is a curtain web spider, a Diplura Rurum back. And I'll just see if I can take the lid off so you can get a good look at him. Very, very nice spider. Um, very similar looking to a Davis Pentalorus, except for smaller bodied, much bigger spinnerets and longer legs. But um, in many other ways, the, the carapace is similar. The abdomen, not not quite as distinct as a Pentalorus, but um, not bad at the same time. It's it's a nice thing, but I think um, this is a bit more arboreal, so I'll get a bit of an arboreal setup there. And also from Venomous Visions, I got this Egyptian blue leg centipede, and I'll see if I can give you a little look at him. It's very, very nice. Um, you can just see him up there around the top. He was very, very active yesterday. He's, um, I'm sure he's a bit tired from the walkover, but, um, or from the drive, sorry. Didn't walk the whole way from there. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's very, very nice. And um, I wasn't really intending to get a centipede, but um, I just saw these these little blue legs and, and the color of his body. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get him. He's really cool. And the last spider that I have that I was really, really looking to get, and I'm really happy I found it, was a Pamphibetus ultramarinus. Um, I have quite a few Pamphibetus, and they are very, very lively, very energetic. Um, there's pretty much always a good feeding response with them, so I, I love the Pamphibetus genus. And the ultramarinus is an especially nice um, color when it gets to the adult size. Um, whoop. I'll just give you a bit of a better look and um, I'll just rehouse him into something slightly bigger and I might end up sticking the Cuban gold in here instead and let it live in there until it molts a couple of times. Oh, my lights went out. <laughs> Okay, this temporary light will do. Um, as I was saying, I was really happy to get the Ultra Marinus. Um, thought that was a great find. Um, and then I got a couple of Mantids. Um, this one's really hard to see because it's so small, but that's a giant lichen moss um, Mantid. Don't know if, yeah, you can see them from that angle. Um, really cool. And out of the moss mantids, that's the biggest one. In there I have an orchid mantis, which I don't think you can see from that side, but um, I'll get some pink orchids and let him live in them. And I got another one as well, uh, just because I haven't seen them in quite a while and don't know if that's maybe a better angle there and I just wanted <laughs> a couple of orchid mantids so that was pretty cool and the last thing is just a culture of fruit flies um that's just for convenience of feeding spiderlings so nothing special there um, so yeah, that's that's what I managed to get from the show this year. Um, I was, I'm really happy. It was a great show. Uh, there were plenty of people there, plenty of vendors. Um, it was a great atmosphere. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll probably attend one of the other invert shows next year if, if um, I can get to them because I'll probably only get to about one a year if I do get them. Um, but, you know, that's not to say it wasn't great. Um, just uh, I'd like an opportunity to sort of see different ones, but um, yeah, it was it was a great thing. Um, I'll probably have a video getting most of these rehoused 
uh, over the next week or so. Um, like I say, the likes of the Formectopus and the Afonopelma will stay in there until they've molted because they're very, very close to molting and there's no point in stressing them out with um, a rehouse or anything like that. Uh, but the rest of them, I'll get them sorted with something very, very soon. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll hopefully see you on the next video.